Hey guys, Mary here at PAX Prime 2015, and we're working with The Mix to bring you guys some awesome indie games you might not have ever heard about. I'm here with Z and Kevin from Serenity Forge. Glad to be here. Hey, good to have you guys, and you guys are going to show me The King's Bird. Yeah. All right, well, let's jump right into it. You guys tell me a little bit about this game. Yeah, The King's Bird mm -hmm. is a momentum-based platformer game uh, mm -hmm. inspired quite a bit by games like Dust Force and also the art style of something like Journey. Uh, we wanted to create a very uh, you know, emotional-based, uh, very uh, you know, performance, precision-based platformer game uh, and make it widely accessible to you know, a large uh, variety of players. Yeah. Um, yeah, in this game, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of uh, you know, different mechanics that you have to kind of perfect throughout the game. And uh, it features this uh, main protagonist uh, that's kind of trapped in this uh, kingdom. And there's uh, you know, a whole story behind that as All well. All right. You can definitely see the comparisons with Dust Force right away with the wall running. I also saw that you're um, building speed by uh, downward hopping yeah. on the hills, yeah. uh, which is really cool. So what you're seeing right now is obviously someone who's been playing this game a lot <laughs> and knows all the secret moves. But this is something that any player, that once you start picking up a platformer and giving it some time, you start to pick up on these subtle nuances of, of gameplay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the game can be played in uh, several different ways. Okay. Um, from a casual player's perspective, you know, you can always enjoy the art, enjoy the story, enjoy the game, uh, you know, as it is. And for an advanced player, we have, you know, speedrunning stats, how many times you've died, how many times you executed certain skills. And there are those global rankings, so if I want to have the best speed ever for this particular... Absolutely. Level, I can do that. Uh, not only that, we're planning on putting in replays as well, so that players can, uh, you know, perfect by watching the other person. <laughs> exactly. Look at awesome. look at how you can improve. And now I noticed you guys are kind of going with a silhouette style look to this. Um, is that just to make sure that you're focusing on the player and you're kind of keeping your eye where you want it to go? Right. And also, you know, being an indie uh, game studio, we wanted to make the most sim simplistic art style and make it as effective as possible. Again, you know, games like Dust Force really, uh, you know, achieve the, you know, a perfection when it comes to making these types of games. So we want we wanted to make it make it something a little bit more, you know, if you look at this, it's awesome. kind of like it's inspired a lot by like, you know, Journey's uh, simple art style. And all that so it's kind of like a combination yeah of you're that. you're allowing the eye to naturally focus on what you guys want it to go where right. where you should naturally be moving and a lot of that is uh, really good level design and kind of just just focusing the player on naturally going where, where you want them to go, not with directions or text. So there's not a lot of text prompts in this game, but you can obviously already see. Um, you guys have added uh, something I don't see in Dust Wars, which is um, a nice soaring mechanic. <laughs> right. uh, so this changes it a lot because that's a lot less predictable as opposed to a jump where I know exactly the distance of my jumps. How are you going to know how far you can actually hover and soar? Again, this is you know everything is momentum based. Uh, there's actually a, a whole momentum system that's inside the game. Uh, you know a lot. A lot of people actually compare the game to Sonic because okay. uh, you kind of go through <laughs> tunnels and then you kind of make sure that you keep old up Sonic, your speed. That was exactly, <laughs> the old Sonic before uh, it went 3D. But yeah, so um, as you can see, you know when you're gliding, everything has to do with your starting point, how you're using gravity to kind of boost you upwards. Um, you know, Kevin has obviously been playing this game for a pretty long time, but you know some of these mechanics take uh, 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 you know a lot of time to uh, to perfect from a mm -hmm. gamer's perspective. And you're changing the foreground on me now because it looked like the foreground would be the darkest color but now um, we're going with this light blue. So you guys are having stuff in the foreground that's even closer to you, that's in front of the player. Right, I mean, the game is uh, still in alpha stages currently. Uh, we've been changing the art style left and right, uh, you know, constantly. And, Who uh, knows what it will end up being? You just <laughs> yeah, don't know yet. Exactly. So, uh, you know, we, we still have some time to work with the art. This is definitely not exactly final. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, we're planning on making the art a lot more accessible, too. So you guys have... Um, Forest level down, it looks like, with a lot of stuff going on here. Are there any other kinds of environments that you're planning on uh, having for the game? Absolutely. I mean, the game takes place in this kingdom where, uh, you know, it's, there's a whole story where uh, it's, the kingdom is ruled by a tyrant king uh, that's kind of caging all of its citizens. And the main character here, this uh, bird girl, she um, will be escaping uh, the kingdom and then eventually, you know, break down the barrier. Uh, all of that, you know, uh, takes place in you know, a variety of different settings and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where the game ends up. Yeah, it looks really cool so far. I'm excited to see uh, the next environments that you guys make. Uh, it's always exciting to, you feel a lot of sense of progression when you see new stuff, right? Like, oh yeah, now I'm in the castle area. Like, I've, I've done it, you know? And so it's really exciting to see that. I love that you guys are incorporating leaderboards and um, even replays, hopefully, you know, like that's not an easy thing to add into a game. I know that, especially with something like this. Um, that's a lot of programming involved, but I'm stoked to see what you guys come up with. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for showing me the King's Bird. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So yeah, much. that's awesome. So for the latest on games, be sure to head to GameSpot.com. Thanks, guys.